So you might be in the situation where you want to go ahead and reset or change your Apple ID email on your particular iPad. Now, doing this is actually very basic and it really doesn't take too much time at all. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is you want to hop inside of your iPad settings application. So come right into your settings application, which is right into here, and you'll come into this particular page. Now, what you're going to want to do here is you want to go and click on your top panel, which is right here. So tap on this first option that comes up right here, and then you're going to come into this next page. Now, this next page is going to have a bunch of information and a bunch of data within it. The big thing though, and the, this is the biggest thing you're going to want to do here, is you want to go and see where it says sign out, which is right here. You want to sign out of your particular account. So if you want to change your Apple ID email, you want to click sign out. And what it's going to do is it's going to sign you out of your particular account. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is you want to come right back into this panel right here, and you want to log into your Apple ID. So let's say you have a you know, email that you've used before. You can tap right into here and you can type in your particular Apple ID that you had before. You can type in your information. Now, if you don't have an Apple ID, you can tap on, you know, tap, don't have an Apple ID and you can go ahead and create an Apple ID right inside of your iPad without having to go and use a PC or anything like that. You can do that strictly right inside of your particular iPad right here. Now, on top of that, if you forgot your password, you can also type in forgot password here and that's it. Now, when you type in your particular phone number or your email, you can go and click on continue and the next page is the next prompt is going to allow you to type in your password. So then you want to type in your password and then after that, it's going to verify two-factor authentication. And after that, your particular Apple ID account should show up right here. And that really is all you're going to have to do as at this point. So that pretty much covers it up here for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.